get the recording going. Um, so yeah, this is submitted by, from my other teammate. Um, this is the Devoted Mystic or Devoted Blade deck. Um, we've got the Giver of Runes, Birds, Nobles, Stoneforge, Vizier, Devoted Combo, Eldemar's Call, Lightning Greaves, Sword, Tracker, Eternal Witness, Knight of Autumn, One Shalai, Batter Skull, Ford Finale of Devastation, and a Walking Ballista. So. What's going on with this deck, in case you're not aware, uh, Vizier of Remedies, if a creature gets 1-1 one, one counter, um, instead they get minus that 1-1. One, minus one. So what happens is Devoted Druze, you get infinite mana because you're trying to put a counter on there. It, it tries to, minus is 1, which has become 0. Then you can just create infinite mana. So with the infinite mana, uh, what the deck used to do uh, quite often was just have a tracker in play, and then you would go fetch a bullet, a walking bullet, and kill them. Um, now, what you're able to do is you can actually combo with Stoneforge as well, getting Viridian Longbow, letting you untap and tap infinitely for infinite damage. You can go fetch up a Greaves to protect your combo and go off that same turn with Devoted Druid rather than having to wait an extra turn like you used to do because Devoted's being Summoning Sickness. Um, you still get Value Engine going with a Sword of Fire and Ice or a Batter Skull. And then you just have Protection and different various outlets, so it's pretty cool. And I'm a big fan of what I'm seeing here. Uh, in the sideboard, we've got two Forge Tenders, three Pats, one Canis, two Oofs, one Tracker, one Thrun, two Knights, and three Damping Spheres. So let's not wait anymore, and let's jump right into it. This will be my last league for tonight. Got a bunch of homework, as is the joys of school. And it was off um, the recording, so just in case anyone's just joining now for the recording, um, this I'll be able to stream tonight. This is the last match, uh, last league, and then next week I'll be able to stream as well. Um, after that, I'm going to be off for two weeks because I'll be uh, on vacation then uh, in Indy. Then the 20th, I'll be back. The week after that, I'll be in Atlanta, so I'll be off. Then I think I can stream for two weeks before uh, Roanoke. So we'll see how this all goes. Um, this is good. We've got two combo pieces, got finale to go fetch things up. We don't have the mana, but we can still do Stoneforge things, which I'm okay with. And there's a Devoted. Okay. Um, we're just going to go for the combo. See what they got. They got a spell snare. They certainly do. Let's run out of Stone Forge. We might be in the grind here, so I'm gonna go grab a batter skull. We'll pass it over. Maybe it was a bit greedy to run out that devoted, but if they didn't have that spell snare, we were gonna unlock a lot of mana and be able to go for the win, which seemed pretty sweet. Let's play another Stoneforge. Let's go get the longbow. I'll run out of giver. Okay, we don't get to keep our stuff, but it's rude. Run out of Noble, run out of Vizier. Cool. Mm, not too much going on in this hand. We can go for the 
finale, but I feel like uh, we don't want to be there yet. We're just going to be putting a summoning sick creature into play. Let's just swing for three. We're not this long bow. Sure. Don't think this Knight of Autumn is going to get a ton of value from the enchantment destruction, so let's just put a bigger creature on board. I don't want to run out another Vizier because then Wrath would get another combo piece. Stoneforge. Feast and Famine. Okay. Let's go right to combat. So we have the Knight and the Vizier. Since we have two of them, Let's see if we can fetch up. Put a do we want to go for the combo here? Do we just want to go fetch up more value cards with Stoneforge? I think I just want to go fetch up value cards with Stoneforge. And thank you so much for the follow, Mr. Zarakai. I imagine they have a path for us. Basically tapped out for nothing at that point. So weird. Really don't understand what they're doing. <laughs> Like, they didn't have to attack there. Alright, I want to bring the tracker and the throne for sure. 
I feel like we can trim a bird. Probably another bird, honestly. We don't really need them a ton. And we just want to grind out a bit more. I like everything else. Sand. Got some redundancies. Got a Nova to start us off. Batter skull a little awkward, but willing to take it. More redundancy. Forge. Hmm. Should have ran off that pump garden. Good finale here, but I feel like it's gonna get countered. Oop, let me update that deck list for you, uh, real quick, Mr. Zarkai. Two seconds. All right, it's updated now, so go ahead and try to search it back up again. No problem.
Got a sword? Yes, they do. Pretty rude. We can finale for it, but have nothing to do with it afterwards. We really don't have much to do here, right? Because we can't actually pump the whole team up more than once. Bounce the living weapon, put it in her hand, equip to something, doesn't really matter. So. Do we just do this and then. pass? Um, I haven't uh, tested it in this version, however, I have tested it in uh, the Banteldrazi deck uh, my friend sent me, so I did like it there. It's definitely the one I would be playing if I was playing a, um, a deck with it right now. Not looking good for us. Looking good. We gotta get a payoff here.
All right, we got one turn. We have to hope they don't have a counter spell, and we have to draw a payoff. Easy peasy. All right, we didn't draw either. <laughs> Let's bring in both Knight of Autumns, actually. I'm not sure about these Giver Runes. Let's trim two. Try that out. Another spell stare. All right, we'll try this again. We don't have any combo pieces here, so I'm just going to get Sword of Fire nice. They don't know we have the Batter Skull, so... Oh, and Mr. Zerka, the reason I have a Fire Nice in here and not Light and Shadow is because that's what was submitted to me.
here dropping a jace. So this will be pretty sweet. We can run out the batter skull and actually cast the sword of fire and ice and equip it to get max value. Swing this at them, this at Jace, kill the Jace. Shoot them for two, draw a card. And pass it over. They got for us. Path on our stone forge, sure. Four, they took our ballista. We'll pass it over. They might as well swing, yeah. Okay, we're just gonna run out the Shalai, uh, not Shalai, but this Noble, and see if that's lethal. like it is. Awesome. Give me just two second talks. I should have took a bathroom break in between the rounds, but I did not, so I'll be back in just a second.
Sorry about that. I am back. I like this deck so far. Obviously, undefeated. Can't beat that, right? But it feels good. It has like a lot of different lines. Like there, we were just an aggressive deck and it worked out well. This hand's a little awkward. We don't have the mana to get to Shalai, but um, Giver into Stoneforge is pretty solid. So, And we have an Eldamari's Call for us to go fetch up something if something happens as well. So, not mad at that. Hmm, Thoughtsies. How rude. That's a running six. They're gonna shoot our bird, I bet. How rude. Well, I'm not mad about having the finale here. Kinda wanted another land, but We'll make do for now. I don't think this Stoneforge is going to stick around, but just in case it does, Batter Skull would be quite an amazing card for them, for us. So. We already have the Longbow to combo. kind of want to hit lands right now but we're not that cool I'm gonna pass we're gonna go Eldemar's call for devoted we're not devoted pretty rough spot right now though let's pitch the batter skull go if Another go life. That's gonna put us on a two turn clock. It's actually pretty good. Run that out. They can make a sack it though. See if they think that's worthwhile. Yeah. Don't see us winning here anyway. Yeah, we, we can go wrap this up. Okay. Thrawn uh, trackers, both great for grinding. Let's bring out the paths as well. We don't need the Knight of Autumn. And I think we can trim on some of the dorks a little bit. Maybe one finale or one call. I think one call, right? They're just going to be... Like, dorks are just awkward here. They can kill them with the... Uh, they can kill them with Ren and Six pretty easily, so.
debatable, and we don't want any, but... It's fine. It's fine. Okay, right. so... It's not bad. We're on the Stoneforge plan. They're mulling. Down to five. It's even better for us. So yesterday I was at, uh, so I, I, I did an OT drop of the MCQ. We went back to um, town, and there's a local store that was running uh, Thursday Night Magic. And so we went there, and there was the guy that was playing uh, Tron. And we were talking about Tron. I was playing uh, Five Color Warza, or Four Color Warza. And this guy aggressively mulls. And so, like, obviously you should, you should aggressively mull with Tron to an extent. So, but against the match for me, they went to three twice and then lost because they just couldn't. Like they finally found the hand of Formtron on on their first three, but then they couldn't do anything. Um, and the next one, they stumbled and couldn't form Tron. The next one that they did, they managed to. Uh, my I, I was watching them because they were playing my friend. They also aggressively mulled and went down to four and three, and I was just like, man, this person does not care. They're like, I am going to find what I need to find. <laughs> I'm going to fetch Batter Skull here. I think if they, they had the hand disruption, they would have played it. Six. Goes our bird. Yeah. Well, run on another stone forge. Hope they don't have another removal spell. So taking our path. Alright, they're down to one card. Sword. So if we can get another mana, we can go ballista on one and equip it with the sword.
How awkward. So we can either go Ballista for two or Ballista for one, equip it with the uh, sword. If we go Ballista for two, if they down tech Lily, we can take out Lily. Which is why I think I'm going to go that line. Because otherwise they can just down tech Lily, we can only shoot it for one. And then we're in a bit of a bind. Because then we just basically lost a creature for nothing. Okay, they got push anyway. Since if we do it on their turn, we're going to lose it anyway. I guess we just go get Devoted Druid and run it out. Force them to sack, uh, down tick their Lily again. This is all going pretty bold. <laughs> okay. Like one more turn cycle and they're just gonna alt their run. It's pretty bad for us. Renner, they're going to wait an extra turn. Yeah, they're going to wait an extra turn so they can keep this loop going. Depending on what we draw, it's probably just over, unfortunately. gonna pop a Renault and then just do whatever they want to our board blowing everything up so there's no real reason to continue there even if we try to gain footing they get to like Coligans blow up their artifact make us lose stuff keep killing our board well, this hand doesn't do much this hand does I think we could dip on a land if I'm being a little greedy Happy crab. Well, we can call, and then we'll be able to e whip back the call, or e whip back if they mill us. So I'm not mad about that. I think if they play a land, we pretty much have to Eldemar call. Hopefully they don't have a fetch. They do. Okay. Well, we're still gonna do it. Just 
stone forge and a vizier. Let's go get ourselves a devoted. Oh no, we should have got a Shalai. I'm bad. If we got a Shalai, we would have been able to just prevent them from targeting us. Erg. Play this. We mill the vizier, so next turn we can go e wet, get back vizier, and let's see if we have a win con. Yeah, I kind of bought ourselves a lot of time if I would have took the. Uh, Took the proper card. Oh, that's so awkward for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the turn we kill, uh, the turn we go for the kill, we have to have it as we die. <laughs> oh. Okay, so do we get call? Okay, I think we just get Vizier, right? Yes. Alright, we got infinite mana, we need something to do with it. Two finale, three finale. There's still one more. Still have a ballista. And one more Eldemaris. Okay. About to lose like five cards though. Okay, we don't care, we don't care. That's a bummer. Could have used that to win. Uh yeah. Okay, so as long as they don't have any spells, we win. Call. It's pretty funny we'll win with no cards in our library. Hopefully it resolves. <laughs> I'd be blown away if they have like just like a ceremonies rejection. Main board crush us with it.
surgical, whatever they want. Okay, they conceded. Alright, so I want the Knight of Autumns for sure. Probably the paths as well. I don't think we need the tracker, the batter skull, the sword. We're just not on any of those game plans, I don't think. I mean, we could be. I don't think Giver matters as much here. So let's just do that. It might be incorrect to bring in these paths, but I want to get that Hedron crap off the board. And I do apologize. I know I normally try not to answer my phone or text while I'm streaming, but it's the weekend before stuff, and I kind of do a lot of planning for things this week and next week before my vacation, so. Okay, so we have combo in hand, and we have a turn three kill, as long as they don't mill both Shalai and our um, Shalai and Walking Ballista. Finale, but neither of the other cards. Still both win cons on board. In the deck, we lost Ballista, but we still have Shalai.
Alright, so they can't target us anymore. How's life going, chat? So we can't actually kill them this turn because they took Ballista, but we can definitely put on an oppressive board and swing at them. They'll lose one crab, and then they've got one turn. So as long as they don't play a Wrath, we're good. They have exactly a Wrath, that's not good. Me. They're just looking for a sweeper. and they didn't find it. Nice. One part of the combo I think is good. Ewet on the canopy to redraw if necessary. Mm, Stoneforge, that's sweet. Oh, 
Ooh. We're going against the Elemental deck. Okay, this is cool. I have actually not played against this deck yet. I think we're going to want to go get Fire and Ice here. This is so much mana right now. Thunderkin. Do I respect that they have something else? Guess I'll block. I don't know if they can have anything else. Think so. All right, let's run up devoted druid, hold up for sword, and pass it over. So much. Such a good card. We only got one card left in hand. Four mana. What you got for us? Nothing? Okay. And we get a longbow. Okay. Attempt to go off. Coco? Sure. so they could have fetched up whatever elemental they wanted, right? Sure. How sweet. Okay, so that's good. They're on elementals, huh? I think if that's the case, I think I want this package. Night of Autumn doesn't seem amazing. I don't think we need a tracker. We're just going to be going off, I think. Mm-mm-mm. Trim on those. I guess that's just like a worse version of the Forge Tender, right? Yeah. Never mind. Maybe we don't need the Forge Tenders. Bring in two paths and call it good? I think we'll do that.
I'm not opposed to this hand. This isn't great. The finale is a little awkward. We could use a mana dork, but this hand has a lot of potential here. The finale could do a lot of work for us. Just gonna give her give her protection. We'll call it good here. I guess we can swing. Can't block. Take the free point of damage. Aww. It's not really that great, but I like how they're able to cast it. No big deal. <laughs> Everybody else doesn't get to do that. They're like, yeah, we got this. All right, Aldemar's call is pretty good. So let's go give her. And I don't want to play the Vizier, do I? Yeah, no, let's play the Vizier. No, we 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 want we want to go fetch up the uh, devoted here. Puts us best in line to win. go off this turn but we've got double protection so unless they have a sweeper and they only got one card they get one draw if they play a sweeper I'm not even mad I guess we can just drop a shalai and rebuild from there what is this big boy a big creature, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. That was good. Three and one so far. I like it. Let's see if we can finish this four one. away. 
mold this way as well. Hmm. This isn't looking good. I think we'll keep this. Ship that, that, and that. It's a burden deck. It's not good, especially with this little hand canopy, but we can go give her into Stoneforge. Go fetch up a batter skull and see if that can stabilize us. Fetch up a batter skull. We have to send two removal spells towards Stoneforge to kill it. They had to rip a land, so if they didn't rip a land, they can't do it. Okay, so we're gonna get this protection from red. Have a batter skull that we're going to be dropping into play. That's an irrelevant card now. We just want to get some more mana going. just good to pass we can go get infinite mana here but that's not really what we need to do we just need to hold ourselves up stay alive we can bounce back this batter skull and put it back into play if we need to Dart end step on the devoted druid. Just to give it the neg one, neg one. Sure. Spiking us, that's fine. they can lava dart our germ which isn't great so we're just going to block with the devoted druid Uh, we 
only have three mana. But let's go get a Knight of Autumn. This way, we can just gain some life even more. Swing, gain more life. They can lob a dart our germ and kill it, but I guess if they want to burn that, we're okay with that. We'll gain three life, take a spell from them. Yeah, lava dart. I think we just want to block here. Metamorphos and a light up the stage. That's fine. I just want to equip here, I think so. Ooh, that's a bummer. It's probably the one card we didn't want them to have. I think they misclicked here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm not gonna block. Worry by. I will block. We can't kill him because he kept that creature back. Fiend and a spike. Aldamari's call for Vizier. Combo off. Did I have that line previously and I was just dumb?
I think I did, and I'm just dumb. <laughs> uh, I think these are the cards I want to bring in. Don't need tracker. That. I don't think we're on this combo plan right now. I think we just have to stay alive, and if we stay alive, we can win through just being alive. Um, I don't mind having the longbow. I think we can trim the grease. I know they have a lot of spot removal, um, but I don't want to have that and not have another card in hand. I think we can trim on the zeros, go down to one as well, and then let's trim a bird. Good. We are on the Stone Forge plant. Pass it over. Goodbye. However, we'll play another one. Sword, play that. No, pass. some life. They're down to three cards. That's a good one though. We're just gonna run out batter skull here, go to eight, and see if that's good enough. Hmm, smash. Okay, that's it. We're at one. Um devoted. Stone Forge, and we die. They could have done that any time. How rude! Instead of casting the Batter Skull, I could have finaleed for three and got a knight and gained th uh, four life. Um, I just thought if the Batter Skull stuck around, we would have been the, the upside was so much higher. Mm, turn to sword with a call. I'm willing to see what this hand can do. Because if we get to get to turn three by some miraculous reason, 
and equip that sword, it should be pretty amazing. If not, what I'm also thinking is that we play Eld uh, Eldamir's Call and go and get our Barrington Forge Tender and then equip that with a sword. That seems pretty nuts as well. Stoneforge is good too. Sure, we don't get anything. Free swing there. It's interesting. Um, I think I just want to get this sword out. Make them have to kill our knight. They have that dart in the graveyard. If they swing, I'm probably blocking that kiln fiend. Because they can lava dart. Yep, they can just lava dart anyway. Okay, that's fine. It's pretty painful, but we'll manage. We'd really like to draw a white source here. Nope. All right. Um, we'll go give her equip. We're running out the devoted druid. We're gonna swing. Shoot that. Land. We'll pass and hold up this path. We can block and path and then do it again. place for us to be at right now. I think we're pretty, feel pretty good about this. Kozilex return. Hmm. Interesting. Think about a path. Try to preserve as much life as possible here. to not much we can call 
think I'm just gonna go get a forge tender. Cast the forge tender. Cast the noble land pass. Souls car mage. Sure. Okay, we can either run out the batter skull or devoted and a path and hold up the path. I think the Batter skull is the way to go. If they have smash, that's kind of bad because then they could smash it. But. Yep. What else you got? What else do you got? Firebolt flashback. They have no cards in hand. Nothing that we care about. We are going to equip it. Yeah! Nice! So we went four and one there with that deck. This is a pretty fun pile. Uh, I'd have to jam it some more because I don't really know what I would change about it right now. I kind of like it as is. I'd want to just keep playing it, see if I want to... Some of these cards seem like the flex slots here. The Fire Knights did a lot of work for us, so I really liked it there. Um, Greaves, obviously, for the instant speed combo, which is really relevant. So overall, just I'm happy with this deck. It, was, it performed really well. So uh, thank you so much, everybody, for joining me again tonight. Really appreciate everybody, the new subscribers and the new followers. Um, so that was really sweet. Um, I'll be back next Sunday. But like I said, after that, I have to take about two weeks off due to uh, my vacation and Indy. And then I'll be back for one week, and then I'll be off to Atlanta. So thank you so much again, everyone. Have a wonderful night.